हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द जर्मन लैंग्वेज इंस्टीट्यूट वीडियो सीरीज सो टुडे आई विल बी कंप्लीटिंग माय नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ काउंटिंग इन जर्मन लैंग्वेज दैट इज द नंबर्स फ्रॉम 21 टिल 50 I have already discussed in my previous session of counting that is the numbers from 1 till 20. So let's get started. 21 Ein Und Swansish. Now here is a breakup. That is, you have to follow a certain concept while making this number. For a while, like twenty one will be one plus 20 so 1 is eins 20 is swansish and that plus sign will be taken as und that sounds like und and written like u n d so when we combine it will be ein on swansish please make sure that we have to remove the ending s as we have learned before that the number one is called as eins but over here we will be removing the s ending and then we will be only writing ein und swansish that means 20 so once again i am repeating the number 21 ein und swansish now we have to follow the same pattern right for the next of the numbers that i am repeating twenty two swai on swansish twenty three Dry on Swansish. That means three plus twenty. So again, three will be dry. Twenty is Swansish. Now, if you add them, it will be dry on Swansish. I hope you are getting clear. Twenty four Fear on Swansish Twenty five Film on Swansish. Twenty six Zex on Swansish Twenty seven
जीवन उन्सवांसिश थोड़ी एट आक्टुन स्वांसिश थोड़ी नाइन नॉइन उन स्वांसिश एंड द लास्ट थर्टी That is Dreisish. Dreisish. Thirty one. Ein und Dreisish. Now see again over here we have to see all of the same pattern as we did in thirty one. That is one plus thirty. So it will be one is eins. Then plus as I told you, we will be taking is at und because und that means and in English und u n d. In German, but the pronunciation is "und." That means when you are joining or combining two numbers, then this addition take place. So somehow we can correlate "und" as a plus sign. So. One plus thirty. That it means ein und dreißig. Thirty-two. Zwei und dreißig. Thirty-three. Drei und dreißig. Thirty-four. Vier und dreißig. Thirty-five, fifth and thirty-six, thirty-six, six and thirty-six. Thirty-seven, seven and thirty-six. Thirty-eight, eight and thirty-six. Thirty nine, nine and thirty six, thirty eight. 
40. Fiercish. Fiercish. Now I'm going to tell you something, a new thing that is when we are writing dryish that is 30 so the spelling is d r e i it's set that we term set beta sign i g again i'm repeating d r e i it's set i g so but when we are writing 40 so the spelling is v i e r z i g again i'm repeating v i e r z i g same goes for 20 z w a n z i g the question is why we are doing such kind of unfair justice with 30 30 is like d r e i beta i g that is etc and with 20 and 40 we are writing z i g is an ending now there is a concept that is when we have any number let's say 30 that is dry and then sish so dry is ending with a vowel that means d r e i now in english we know we have vowels that is a e i o u so over here we have a vowel that is ending with i so we will be using the beta sign but in the case of 20 and 40 the 40 is ending with r that is v i e r and similarly 20 z w a n so n and r they are not vowels they are consonants so what i want to say is that when any number ends with any consonant other than vowels so it will be ending with z i g that is fierceish Swansish. I hope the point is clear. Okay, forty one. Ein und Fiersisch. Forty two. Swai so und Fiersisch. Forty three. Dry und Fiersisch. Forty four. Fear und Fiersisch. Forty 
46 46 47 47 48 48 49 49 50 50 So I hope the numbers are cleared from 31 till 50 I will be giving you my next sessions on counting in the next video till then bye auf wiedersehen Cheers, danke.